Welcome back puppies to Barking Dogs Miniature Painting Video. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook and you can support us on Patreon. Okay, so there might be some crunching in the background. I just let a dog in and she's over there munching on a pig ear. But I'm going to go ahead and record anyway because time is precious. So this miniature, um, I just barely started on it. I've got some of his flesh uh, worked out and some of these little slits in the caprice um, but that's not what the video is about. The video is actually going to, this little quick video, at least I hope it's going to be quick it's just about the visor and what I'm going to do to try to get this um, kind of blue metallic tint almost uh, kind of like a mirror blue and yellow tint uh, to his visor, to that lens so, the first thing I'm going to do is use uh, a little bit of uh, speed metal from Scale Color. Shake it up real good. I just got a little cap here. I'm going to, a little cap to a water bottle. I'm going to mix it up in. And I'm mixing it with a little bit of uh, blue from Game Ink, for, from Vallejo. It's the Game Ink line. And I'm really doing it by equal amounts, so it's kind of equal amounts, so it's kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. But then, just to help thin it out, I'm actually going to add an equal amount of airbrush thinner. And when I say equal amount, it's basically two parts airbrush thinner to one part speed metal and one part blue ink. Give that a good mix. Whoa, almost spilled it there. Let's see if I got anything on my thumbs. Yep, sure did. Alright, this is kind of where we're at with it. very thin and I'm going to apply just a very thin coat because it is very thin no nope, sorry if that crunching is bothering anybody I'm probably gonna have to do this a couple of times but we're actually going to have several layers on here to bring it up to the color I want. Which I'll show you here in a second on another model. Now the nice thing about applying really thin coats like this is that they actually dry pretty quick. But you also have to be careful because it is drying so fast that if you spend too much try time trying to go over it, while the paint in your bristles, even on a thin brush like this, will still be wet, it'll dry on the miniature and then you'll get this kind of blotchy look as you're actually tearing away a layer of paint that's already dried. So, be very careful if you try this. Alright, we're going to let that dry for a minute. See if I can get a close up of this guy who already has it. And that's the effect I'm going for. I'm just mixing up. Uh, the mix in this cap again as I get ready to apply a second coat. For the second coat I'm really just going to kind of concentrate on the center here. And if it beads up a little bit because I'm not dabbing off any excess that's okay. I'm fine with that. Kind of push it back a little bit. And we're going to let that dry. 
that's a little thicker so it's going to take a little bit longer to dry so I'm going to set it down and uh, stop the recording and when I come back we'll carry on okay we're back with the next step in the process here we're going to be using some game ink black now this lens has a curvature to it that goes this way that goes uh, kind of up and down and the one that goes across it also and it's kind of important for how I'm going to be doing this next part and again I'm adding a little bit of uh, the airbrush thinner to it and I'm actually just equal parts airbrush thinner to the game ink mix it up here Okay, when I go to apply it, I'm going to try to get it down here in the corner and get it where it kind of follows the recess of the curve. So I'm just going to kind of work it back and forth following the edge of the uh, lens here the visor and I really kind of want it to build up in that corner on the side so I'll get a little excess on the brush and just kind of drop it in there again I'm just kind of working it I kind of like the way it's turning out right there. I'm going to clean a little bit of it up over here on the other side where it got a little sloppy. By cleaning it up, what I do is I just rinse off the uh, paintbrush. And while it's still wet, just try to push some of the ink back a little bit. And that will work because we're not done. We're going to be adding some more layers to it. But our next layer will be a different color. Well, hopefully, hopefully, kind of smooth it out. So we're going to let that dry, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so now we're ready for the next step. It's going to be equal parts game ink, blue, and airbrush thinner. And we'll be doing a similar approach to what we did before, but I won't be pushing it as far into the corners of the sides of the visor. And this time I might go ahead and even back off on the amount of airbrush thinner. Might do not quite a one to one, but pretty close to it. Get it mixed up here. Again, I'm being very liberal with this, and this time I'm coming. A little closer to the center of the visor. And then just bringing it along the bottom and the very, very top. So I get this raised, shiny bit in the very center of the visor. That's actually pretty nice. I don't want to mess with that too much. More. We're going to let that dry. And then we'll be back with the final step. Alright, we're ready for the final step in the process. This time we're going to be adding just a little bit of yellow to that raised center. Again, it's uh, kind of a uh, 
90% air brush thinner to say 100% of the ink so not quite a full one to one ratio but pretty close to it mixing it up here and I'm going to be kind of liberal see if I can get in a little close be kind of liberal on the application here It's a very watery mix. And spread it out just a tad. Come in, soak some of it up there. that dry and see how it looks. I've got one area that's uh, doesn't look real even. I may have to go back in and add a little bit more shading right in here and kind of blend some of this out. So that'll be easy enough fix. I think I'm going to do it right now. Because I still have some blue here to work with. Looks pretty good. We're going to let this dry. Come back and give you a final look at it once it's dry. And here he is after it's dried. kind of the effect I was going for kind of a transition this was an experiment so I've never really pulled anything like this off before he keeps coming out of focus I've got the camera zoomed in quite a bit on him well alright Let's go chomp chomp with this uh, rock cutter on some Skitari Rangers. Okay, so we're in focus. Uh, just after I made that last little clip, I kept looking at it and I really didn't like the uh, transition. It just wasn't smooth enough for me. So what I did was I actually mixed uh, some blue and yellow to get a green effect. Mixed it with some... Uh, of the airbrush thinner and went over it again and kind of smoothed out the transition and got a lot closer to what I was trying to achieve so I just wanted to share that real quick and give you the final look alright now we're ready to chase after some Skatari Rangers if you like the work you saw in this video and some of the images you're seeing now I'm available for commissions you can reach me through messaging me at Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash barking dog studio patron supporters get discounts on commissions as well as credit at the end of the video special thanks to the clarks for their continued support bark on puppies